Hello, this is Pastor Roland, checking in to see how you're doing. Remember to keep sending in your prayer requests. And when you do, don't forget to pray yourself. Prayer is a very wonderful thing. You see, when you pray, you're acknowledging, see, there's a lot of good things. Uh, you know how some people deny God, deny that God exists, they deny truth. Some people are so wicked, so prideful, that even if you catch them doing something wrong, they deny it. They try to make it seem like you're a bad person for observing them doing something bad. See how they twist everything around? They hate the truth. They deny the truth. They deny God. See? So prayer is a nice thing because uh, you're acknowledging God, okay, and it's a good thing for your for you. It's a good thing for you for your for your soul, your mind, your body. To actually say the words of a prayer with you from your heart, okay. It's good for you. It's good for you to uh, to pray. And if you send me a prayer request, then I will pray also. Okay? Now, today I want to continue reading from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 4. And he began again to teach by the seaside, and there was gathered unto him a great multitude, so that he entered into a ship and sat in the sea, and the whole multitude was by the sea on the land. One of the things I like about the Gospel of Mark is that in these early chapters, he gives you a sense of just how many people came they, to, to hear Jesus, to, to be healed, to marvel at, at him and what he said, and what he did. Probably thousands. Okay, There were so many people there that he had to go and sit on a ship, you know, anchored, um, I don't know, 10, 20 feet, 30 feet away from the shoreline. So instead of being uh, on a lectern or on a stage, there he was on the ship it, with all these thousands of people on the shore. It's amazing. Or hundreds at least, but a lot of people. And he taught them many things by parables and said unto them in his doctrine, Hearken, behold, there went out a sower to sow. And it came to pass as he sowed, some fell by the wayside and the birds of the air came and devoured it up. Some fell on stony ground where it had not much earth, and immediately it sprang up because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up and it was scorched, and because it had no root, it withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no fruit. And other fell on good ground and did yield fruit that sprang up and increased and brought forth some thirty, some Sixty, some a hundred. And he said unto them, He that hath, hath ears, let him hear. And when he was alone, they that were about him with the twelve asked of him the parable. He said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. But unto them that are without, in other words, outside, all these things are done in parables, that seeing they may see and not perceive, and hearing they may hear and not understand, lest at any time they should be converted and their sins should be forgiven them. And he said unto them, Know ye not this parable? And how then will ye know all parables? So he's saying, You don't understand the parable? And then he explained it. The sower sows the word. And these are they by the wayside where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan comes immediately and takes away the word that was sown in their heart. And these that are likewise which are sown on stony ground, who, when they have heard the word, immediately receive it with gladness, and have no root in themselves, and so endure, but 
for a time and afterward when affliction or persecution arises for the world's sake immediately they are offended and these are they which are sown among thorns such as hear the word and the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches and the lusts of other things entering in choke the word and it becomes unfruitful and these are they which are sown on good ground such as hear the word and receive it and bring forth fruit some thirtyfold some sixty and some a hundred okay beautiful beautiful okay so do you have ears to hear do you hear the words and do you also understand them okay um, next time we'll continue with uh, Mark chapter 4.